Hi, welcome to Professional Certifications Channel. Let's break down RHI exam preparation one topic a day for focused and effective learning. Today's topic is aggregate data. 1. What is aggregate data? Let's start with the basics what is aggregate data. Aggregate data refers to data that has been collected and compiled from multiple sources, then grouped together to provide a summary or an overall picture. In the healthcare context, this means combining data from various patients, departments, or time periods to analyze trends, outcomes, or patterns. For example, rather than looking at the blood pressure readings of individual patients, aggregate data might involve calculating the average blood pressure of a group of patients over a certain period. This aggregated information can then be used to identify trends, make predictions, and inform decisions. Two. Examples of aggregate data in healthcare. Aggregate data is used in numerous ways within healthcare. Here are a few key examples. 1. Quality improvement. Hospitals often use aggregate data to track the quality of care they provide. For instance, they might compile data on patient readmissions, infection rates, or surgical outcomes to identify areas where improvements are needed. 2. Public health reporting. Public health agencies use aggregate data to monitor the spread of diseases, such as influenza or COVID-19. By analyzing data from multiple healthcare providers, they can track infection rates, identify hotspots, and develop strategies to control outbreaks. 3. Resource Allocation Healthcare administrators use aggregate data to determine where to allocate resources, such as staff, equipment, and funding. For example, if aggregate data shows a high number of emergency room visits during certain hours, additional staff might be scheduled to handle the increased demand. 4. Clinical Research Researchers use aggregate data to study the effectiveness of treatments or to identify risk factors for diseases. For instance, they might analyze aggregate data on patient outcomes to determine whether a new medication is more effective than the standard treatment. 3. Benefits of using aggregate data So, why is aggregate data so valuable in healthcare? Here are some of the key benefits. Improved decision-making By analyzing aggregate data, healthcare providers and administrators can make more informed decisions. They can identify trends that might not be apparent when looking at individual data points, allowing them to take proactive steps to improve care and efficiency. Better resource management, aggregate data helps organizations allocate resources more effectively. By understanding patterns and trends, they can ensure that staff, equipment, and funding are directed where they're needed most, improving overall efficiency and patient care. Enhanced public health outcomes, public health officials use aggregate data to monitor and respond to health threats more effectively. By tracking trends and patterns, they can quickly identify outbreaks, allocate resources, and implement interventions to protect public health. Support for research and innovation, aggregate data is essential for clinical research. It allows researchers to study large populations, identify risk factors, and test new treatments, ultimately leading to medical advancements and improved patient outcomes. 4. Challenges and Considerations while aggregate data is incredibly useful, there are also challenges and considerations to keep in mind. Data privacy. One of the main concerns with aggregate data is maintaining patient privacy. Even though data is aggregated, it's crucial to ensure that individuals cannot be identified. This requires careful data handling and adherence to privacy regulations, such as HIPAA. Data quality. The accuracy of aggregate data depends on the quality of the underlying data. If the data collected is incomplete, inconsistent, or inaccurate, the aggregated results may be misleading. Therefore, it's important to ensure high-quality data collection and management practices. Context matters. When interpreting aggregate data, it's important to consider the context. For example, an increase in the average length of hospital stays might suggest a problem but it could also reflect changes in patient demographics or the types of cases being treated. Always consider the broader context when analyzing and applying aggregate data. Conclusion 
In conclusion, aggregate data is a powerful tool in healthcare. It allows us to see the bigger picture, make informed decisions, and improve patient care on a large scale. Whether you're preparing for the RHIA exam or working in the healthcare field, understanding how to use and interpret aggregate data is crucial.